Hey there guys, Black Panther here and welcome back to some Forza Horizon 2 once again. We're driving the Cohen Zeg. Like, how could we not? I mean, I missed it the first time and I was kind of stupid to do so because this thing is an absolute beast and I think it's pretty much the only rear wheel drive car in the game. So, I would be silly to miss out on the opportunity to be able to drive this beautiful thing. Right, so basically this is a bucket list and what we've got to do for this is go past the speed camera as quick as we bloody can. And that's a really awkward position for your wrist there, sir. But uh, yeah, so I want to drive the Cohen's Egg not only just literally, you know, doing this event. I'm going to do this event and then we've got literally two minutes in the top corner you can see. And we can drive it around in free roam. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to just drive it around and see how we do because this thing is absolutely crazy. Well, I'm crazy for trying to drive it, I would suppose, but uh, let's see how we get across. Oh my god! What do we get? That's one down, but they 194. You know, I think we can get better than that. We're going to go for it again. Can we do a retry? Continue. Continue. Is it going to let us retry it? Hopefully it is, because I really want to do that again. I'm going to try and go even faster this time, because last time I, I kind of I pulled off here and there. Pulled off here and there. But, uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna definitely try that with a another. <laughs> there we go. You look like you enjoyed that. You of course I bloody did. We're gonna go in again. We're doing it again. I just bloody said. Good God. Look at this guy. He teleports. He's walking. All of a sudden, he's in the car. And he's just sat there, not moving whatsoever, ready to drive. He is, he is a guy made for driving. I'll tell you that much. Right. So the handling of this thing is actually a lot more... Uh, forgiving than I expected. It's rear wheel drive, so you usually expect if you put your freaking finger down on the bloody trigger, it's gonna spin you everywhere. But on this, it's not. It's actually, it feels like real, um, sorry, all wheel drive until you can, you can feel it kind of kick out a bit from accelerating, but it honestly does feel like they've toned it back to, to feel more like all wheel drive to be able to handle it better in, in situation to not spin out because obviously the roads are a lot more curvy like this for example like you, you're not going to be doing some oh god that was close you're not going to be doing some crazy crazy stuff but there you go 203 that's a bit better we're going to go again we're not doing it again this time. This time, though, we're actually going to go do some free mode inside this. So we've got two minutes each time, which is kind of disappointing. Like, really, this should give us unlimited time to do it in this demo. Because, come on, who isn't going to try and do this with a bloody Cohen's egg? You give us a Cohen's egg, you give us a time limit to drive it around the world you've given us. We're going to drive it as many times as we can, even keep retrying it, because we want to drive this bloody car. Drive it like you stole it. I definitely am this time. Here we go. Right, let's try it out on the rear view this time. Oh, God. See what I mean by kicking out sometimes? Like, you don't... It, it's controllable. Much more controllable than it is in Forza 5. Which is kind of understandable because, well... It's not made to really be a, a simulation game, this. Or closer to a simulation game. I changed my mind. I want to go this way. Because I remember the uh, the festival style places over here. We might be able to do something pretty damn cool over here. So, instantly, I can easily, easily say it's a lot easier to control rear wheel drive sliding on this. Or drifting, if you will. Uh, it actually feels... I don't know. I don't, I don't want to say feels easier. But it does, obviously. It feels a lot easier. Um, it's a lot easier to maintain... But it's still got the spin out if you kind of keep powering on. And this this road, this texture here on this road, it's really odd. Like the the uh, material on the road or on the floor, it can it it does feel as if I'm sliding a bit here. But I don't know if that's just like because the sound effects different. Because sound effects do affect how you drive sometimes. If you you ever tried driving manual? without the sounds of your engine revving to tell you to change? Yeah, I have, and it's not very bloody nice, is it? You forget to change quite a lot of the time, I'm not gonna lie. Especially when you're commentating and you can't hear the engine at all because you put the audio too quiet, Theo. But yeah, uh, there's one place I want to go in particular driving this Cohen's egg. Uh, and it's, it was basically in the trailer where there were 
uh, a GTR uh, an R34 and a GT86 drifting down that corner. That is the corner I want to try in there. So we're going to try and race there. I don't know if we can make it there, but it is in the demo. So I've definitely got to try and drive there as quick as I bloody can to give it a go. I'm really, really trying this. Okay, so what we're going to do, as soon as it launches, we're going to pause it and I'm going to show you on the map where it is. And we're literally going to fly down there and see if we can get there and have a little bit of a play before we have to put it away. Look at him, staring into your soul as if he's not a real thing. He's not a real thing. Right, so we're going to go over here. This is where the location is. So basically, we've got to spin around, go all the way and go to the left and we are there. One awesome thing. Rewinds are available in the game, so we could just keep rewinding to try and drift around that corner multiple times. But I'm going to go in cockpit view for some high speed intense driving towards this so we can get as much time there as possible. That's the one issue, obviously, having to get there on time. So let's see if we can. Cannot wait to be able to drive this in lots of other cars as well. Good God! I'm trying to kill myself, apparently, by going that fast. Good gravy. Bad luck. Collisions will break your skill chain. Yeah, you've already told me this. So unfortunately, there's no save data on the demo. I had to start again to be able to get to this point. I mean, it's not a very long intro, so it doesn't really matter. It's it's a demo. It's not meant to be like it's crazy long. Be like, hey, here's how do you do this, how you do that, how you do this, how you do that. Oh, you you bought this, you bought that, and then you lose it all. It's not like that. It's just like introduction, drive the Lamborghini. Bit of more of an introduction and choose your car, done. Whereas now, I'm just like going on it and trying to skip all that when it won't skip because they didn't let me skip it. But anyway, <laughs> I'm not turning turning round, woman. Do you mind? Because I'm trying to have a great time here. Let's go into uh, the rear view here. That's not great. I didn't know that was, that was a thing. I did not know that was a thing. Look at that. See? So much easier. Right, you know what? We're going to whip this round. Spin you round, baby. And she's still revving. She's still lost traction. Can we get her to slide? First time. Oh, yes. I still got a lost traction there. That was really good. You know what? We're going to rewind. We're going to do that again. So, uh, <laughs> this is this is probably one of the best looking drifting corners on the game. Like, literally. Yeah, you've seen it in trailers. You've seen people play it. If, you know, if you've seen people play it in this corner. It just screams, drift down me. Do it. So, that's what we're going to do. And one thing I've noticed as well. Rear wheel drive cars leave tyre marks on the road a lot, lot easier than uh, all-wheel drive. If you kind of try and get an all-wheel drive car to, uh, to basically leave tyre marks, it'll only do it if you're braking like crazy and sliding completely sideways or something, whereas rear-wheel drive, you just power on and that thing's going to make marks on the road. So I don't know if that's because it's just got low power that I've been driving, you know, compared to four to five, but... So we don't need roads, we're driving on the pavement. That's the new thing, you know, you know the how the saying, you know, where we go, we don't need roads. Yeah, well, we don't need roads, we just need a pavement to slide across instead. Oh, it's such a shame that I've got a time limit in this car, because I could drive this thing all day. Seriously. We're gonna try and get it to go around here. No, I've powered it on too much there. <laughs> I keep forgetting that I'm not in an all-wheel drive car because I've been driving all-wheel drive cars the whole demo. Move it, you stupid Ford. I don't Is that a car? I think it's a car. Is it the new car? I can't tell. I think it might be. If not, shoot me. Oh, I don't want it to end. I'm seeing that countdown time. I saw you. I do not want this to end. I want to drive this little ghosty Cohen's egg little ghost in the back. I love that little thing. Come on, give me this corner. Give me this corner. Let me have this corner at least. Come on. I'm really wide. I'm doing that again. I'm panicking against the clock here. We're going to drive it again anyway. I really want to. Yeah, we're not going to be able to make it. <laughs> but at this time, we're just going to go for like a normal drive as we would just driving it normally because I want to drive across fields and stuff because how could you not just 
I'm going to keep trying this event so, so, so many times just to be able to keep driving this car over and over and over because I'm kind of bored of my Evo. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. If I could tune it, then I wouldn't be as bored, but driving it for like two hours can, can kind of come uh, become slightly boring. So, off-road, how is she? Well, it's definitely a lot better than it is on uh, Test Drive Unlimited 2 off-roading. <laughs> One thing I've noticed on this game is it's actually still very, very easy to be able to drive cars off-road as well as on-road. Which means I can see people doing a lot of that. Just cutting corners and carrying on because that's what they're going to do. Just, that, that's one kind of slight complaint I have. It's They still go too quick off-road. Like, even if it's a rear-wheel drive car that's really low to the ground like this, it's like, oh, I can, I can go off-road as well as a bloody big four-wheel drive truck. It's like, no, that's not exactly how it's supposed to work, Forza. And yes, I'm aware that I... Bloody hell, why has it gone black? Okay, that took a while to kick in. <laughs> um, I realise that I do say Forza and Forza. Like, I switch between. And that's just a habit I've picked up, mainly because I used to say Forza all the time, and then I learnt it was Forza. So I try to say Forza, and I end up saying Forza still because it comes to mind. So I'm just going to call it Forza. I'm going to try and call it Forza now. Instead of confusing myself and calling it something different every time. Imagine if I could smash off that fence. Imagine if I could. <laughs> that would be insane. In a bad way, because I don't want to crash this beautiful counter. Go to the closer view this time for a nice little angle. Oh, yes. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful car. Oh my god! Regain that. Oh, why did you not regain that Cohen's egg? You are not a very nice car when it comes to uh, me making mistakes. You, you, don't, you don't forgive me for making mistakes. <laughs> Alright, can we go? Can we go? Can we go? Power on! A bit too much there. I really want to put camber on this and everything, but I'm not able to, and I can definitely see myself drifting this in the full game, definitely. It is a really gate, great gate, gate car to drive. Great car to drive. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's the cone and the zeg. Agirir-R. It's not the Ajera R. I think it's just the Ajera, which is a bit weird, because I swear the Ajera R was the newer one, and it was in the last game. I don't know, maybe it wasn't. Maybe I'm just a bit of a fool. But I don't know, where's the face again? We've seen that face many a time. We're going to see it many a time more. Because tell, I tell you now, I tell you now, I'm going to be driving this thing so bloody much. Look at it. Look at that wheel. Look at the interior. Look at the... Look at everything. Just listen to the sound of it. Listen to the me hitting trees almost. And all that jazz. Anyway, I should probably leave you before I take this too long. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you ever so much for joining me for this video. As you can tell, I'm having a lot of fun on just playing this demo. So subscribe if you want to see a lot more. If you've got any suggestions on what you wish to see, leave them down below. And I will see you guys when I'm about to die the next. Oh my god! That was crazy. <laughs> Peace.